Hi guys and welcome to Hobby. My name is Lina and if you don't recognize me it's because I'm usually on the other side of the camera but today I joined you here on the other side to show you how to crochet your very own reusable fruit nets. The pattern we're following today is called the We Care Fruit Net and it's actually a quite easy pattern. There's lots of repeats and we are mainly focusing on using chain stitches, single crochets and double crochets. The size we're making today can hold about 10 pieces of fruit, but if you want to make a smaller version, I will show you how to do that a little later. If you would prefer to follow along to the written pattern, I put a link in the description box. You can click it and you'll go straight to the free pattern. Okay, I think that was enough chatter for me. Let's look at the materials. So I'm using one skein of rainbow lace in color dark green number 22, which is a mercerinized cotton yarn. And it has this stunning glossy surface and the colors are just fantastic. So mercerinized cotton is also super strong, so it's actually perfect for this project as it can hold quite a lot of weight. I'm using a 2.5mm hook, a pair of scissors and a yarn bowl. I also recommend using a digital row counter for this project, but that's totally up to you. Okay, let's get started. So we will start out by making a magic ring. And you just do it the way that you prefer. Now you need to chain three stitches. And this is going to count as your first double crochet. Then we need to put 11 double crochets into the magic ring. And this part is a little tricky in the beginning, so don't feel bad if you, if you find it difficult. Okay, so finish up those 11 double crochets and I'll meet you back after. Make sure that you have 12 double crochets now. To close the ring you need to slip stitch into the third chain you made in the beginning. And we are ready for round two. Start out by chaining three stitches. And then you need to put a double crochet into the same stitch. This round is super easy. You simply put two double crochets into each stitch the entire way around. It should be a little easier now to work with. You can pause the video and I'll meet you back at the end of this round. Once you get to the end of the round, you just do a slip stitch into the chain three that you did in the beginning of the round. It can be a little tricky to, to get through here. Perfect. Round three. Now we're starting to work in spirals, so you will not be joining at the end of the rounds. You can use a stitch marker if you feel like that's easier for you. So start out by chaining two and put one single crochet into the next stitch. Chain two again and put another single crochet into the next stitch. So you just Continue repeating these steps, chain two and one single crochet in the next stitch. Not single crochet, I mean single crochet. So you will chain three stitches and put one single crochet into the next chain space. 
the chain spaces isn't that large at the moment but as we move along they will be more clear to identify. I'm just marking my first stitch here. So chain three and put one single crochet into the next chain space. And that's all you're doing for the entire round. Okay, moving on to round five. This time you will chain four stitches and put one single crochet into the next chain space. And you see how they become more and more clear, the chain spaces? So just continue chaining four and putting one single crochet in the next chain space. You can pause the video and I'll see you for round six. For round six, you will chain five stitches. And put a single crochet into the next chain space. Continue repeating this for the entire round. Round seven. So chain six stitches this time and put one single crochet into the next chain space. And just as before, you will repeat these steps to the end of the round. Round eight, chain seven stitches and put one single crochet into the next chain space. And once again, you will just continue these two steps to the end of the round. Okay, so for round nine, you will chain eight stitches and put one single crochet into the next chain space. And I'm sure you guessed by now, but you will repeat these two steps to the end of the round. Round 10. Chain nine stitches and put one single crochet into the next chain space. You will repeat these two steps to the end of the round. For round 11 to 25, you are simply going to repeat round 10. So if you wanted to make your bag smaller, this is the part where you do uh, fewer repeats. So go get yourself a cup of coffee, do the next 15 rounds and I'll meet you back after. So I went ahead and did the bag in another color as well. And this is how it should look when you reach your 25th round. For the entire round, you will chain seven and put one single crochet in the next chain space. Now you need to put five single crochets into the chain space you put your last single crochet in. So it's basically the stitch you finished your last round in. The one you were just in. Then you need to put eight single crochets into each chain space to the end of the round.
round 28, put one single crochet into each stitch to the end of the round. At the end you need to slip stitch into the first single crochet of the round. Now you can finally cut your yarn and weave in the ends. Now let's move on to making the cord. So the first round of the cord is simply just chaining 200 stitches. You can pause the video and I'll meet you back after. Slip stitch into the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch to the end. Now you can cut the yarn and weave in the ends. Now you need to weave in the cord around the opening of your bag like this. You can tie a little knot at the end just to secure it. And just like that we are done. I know that I will be patting myself on the back for a job well done and I really hope that you are doing the same. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already.